Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, uh, we're just going to get this video going. It's not 11.11. 11. I nearly dropped my coffee off the side of the table then. Um, it's 11.15. I had to make my coffee. Okay, so the t-shirt. Mm. I'm going to put my cards away. It just felt important that we turn the camera on now. 22 seconds. Um, washing machine's on in the background. The t-shirt, I was kind of chuckling to myself, kind of thinking, oh please... Don't tell me we've got a thriller live going on. And then uh, what come through was, you want to be starting something? And I'm like, no. And then when I was making my coffee, like I've got now, I feel like I've been punched in the stomach. You got to be starting something. I said, you want to be starting something? And I thought, is there trouble on the horizon or that's occurring? What's occurring? Lily's behind me, but it's like, okay, I'm going to get on. What's going on? We need to have a look into this energy. Who's starting something? They're always starting something, aren't they? I'll tell you what word came... Oh, come on. The amount of times that try and recall this word. <sighs> Degrading. That's the word. Not, em embar not embarrassing. Well, it is. But it was... The word was... You're so degrading. I'm going to use... I want to put these away because um, I've kind of brought all the cards downstairs now because there seem to be more cards downstairs than upstairs. So, <laughs> what's going on? And I say, hey, yeah, 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 hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, hey. What's going on? Okay. 25 years and my life is still. Okay, let's not go into that. What's going on? <laughs> let's not go into that, but what's going on? I don't know all the words to that song, so I won't be able to work it out. Are you climbing a great big hit? A hill of hope. What, like, bloody Jack and Jill? Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Did you guys go out shopping with someone and you've had a big fight outside? That's what I feel like. It's like it's really degrading. It's like it's embarrassing. That's what I feel. I feel it is a divine masculine's energy. You go out with maybe a karmic. And degrading. Something happens. But I feel it's public. I don't know what the blow to the stomach is though. Sickening. Unless somebody, you know, has actually taken a blow. Fighting. Physical fighting. I feel between a man and a woman, most definitely. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look. She's gone. Lily's gone. <laughs> ah, okay. Is the phone off? The phone is off. It's 11.18. Let's do this. Oh, I can see all the... Uh, the chakra crystals sparkling. Look, they're not even organised. Doors are not open. Doors need a clean. I can see that. And it, actually, that's kind of something I was going to say because I was going to say, like, I need to get on with the house because it's like a, like a fucking shit tip. It's like, a, it's a bit of a, like, I'm not, like, angry or anything. I've done some of it, but it's like, I don't know, all of a sudden, it's just a bit messy and I'm going to have to take some time to do some clearing up. Which is cool, it's not just my mess. But that's fine. Like, I'm going to just crack on with it. But that was kind of like, there's lots of jobs I need to be getting on with. <sighs> you have to deal with, like, kind of the bullshit of life. Okay. <laughs> it's like when that message comes through, it's like... I said, you want to be starting something? My energy was like, oh, please don't. <laughs> I just, I'm not, I'm not sure what the response is going to be. So, like, zero tolerance there. Lily's gone out into the sun. Good girl. Okay. The back door's open, air in the place. We've got beautiful crystals that are um, reflecting. Through the sun. On my table. I don't know if you can see them flying around me. Might be able to see the fingerprint marks on the glass. 
Okay, it's cool. It's 11.20. There's hours left. Yeah, we'll get done. <sighs> I've left a selection of cards here. Just because I'm going to have to do like... Some moving around. <laughs> I felt like it, I wanted to say like the Krypton factor. The Krypton factor. Kryptonite that killed Superman. It's like use his own power against him. Woo. Divine Masculine, can we have a look? How are we going to do this? We're just going to free flow it. Ten cards. Are we up the right way? Is she the nightmare? She looks sad and lonely and scared and frail. So the, if, she, if it's her that's fighting, it's draining her. It'll be really aging her. It's like when someone's so angry and aggressive, like, the beauty of their face just kind of disappears. And then when someone's happy and loving, you know, the beauty shines through. That's with everyone. A beautiful looking person can look very ugly when they're angry. And a very ugly person. Whatever that is. Looks very beautiful and shines very beautifully when they're happy. The Hermit. Why did I know you were going to come out? I saw you in my mind. I knew we'd be using the Druid Craft Tarot and I saw the Hermit card in my brain. That one. That exact one. What are you doing on my table, Mr. Hermit? Been by the beach. Early morning walk, maybe? All looks a bit stormy, them clouds, don't they? Looks like a witch's brew. Something's been brewing in the air, it's a bit green. Trouble is brewing in the air. Thriller, live. Jeez. It's one of our favourite times of the day, is like actually wondering what's clothes I'm going to be wearing it's like when I kind of looked at this it was like are we wearing that why I didn't know if I was going to have a like a, a Jackson sing-along day but I'm not sure I think it might be um okay so that card that's just gone onto the floor is looking at me in reverse and seeing as I don't have my cards in reverse it's going to stay like that well actually he's sideways oh, okay What's going on? And I try. Oh my God, do I try? I try all the time. Yeah. I'm not sure how you want, want me. How many are we getting? Ten. Yeah. It's interesting, the layout, though. I will show you. I'm going to have to delve, guys. I'm going to have to delve. There could be a karmic energy here coming to the Divine Feminine. She's, she's tricky. She's tricky, 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 tricky. Might come across as being nice. Loving, caring. She's tricky. She's here to try and unbalance you, Divine Feminine. This, this second row here is different to the first row. Yeah, it's definitely, oh, it's an ex of the Divine Masculines because he's single here. So I feel like the Divine Feminine, you might be having your Divine Masculine's ex may be trying to approach you. Um, it looks like you're to hold your tongue back. 
Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Princess of Cups here, Divine Feminine. Underlying energy is the Divine Feminine. Now, she's in her red robes here, which makes me feel you need to stay grounded. A solid, firm foundation, okay? Keep both of your feet on the ground. Stay balanced. It's about your posture. Okay, so... Um, I feel like it's, you're not to, like, quake. You, you, you have to stand your ground. But in love. So it is really, like, I mean, she's got her, her eyes closed here and it's just like, just take it all in. If something's coming your way, it's just like, I feel that this is a bit of a warning. I, I'm, it is a warning. I'm not, um, and I think it's due to something that the Divine Masculine is going to say to her. And it's like she's going to want to go to the Divine Feminine. Okay. It's okay though, Divine Feminine, you have um, lucky charm around you. That's what it is. Divine Feminine, remember your charm. You have, you have a lucky charm if you remain within love. Okay, no one can touch you. It's like impossible. You have to believe that, that they can't even touch you. The meanest of me, once they're in your aura, okay, should not like, physically be able to touch you. But it's something that you're going to have to put to practice if it comes your way and not be scared. Not allowed to have any fear. So, um, but she's got a, a lucky shoehorn around her head. So you're protected, but you may need to stand up too. It's definitely somebody who's tired. They're frail, they're angry, they're depressed, they're anxious, they're codependent. They're just not awake. They're sleepwalking. And it looks like they're a nightmare. Okay. It looks like their their sleepwalk might take them to you, Divine Feminine. That's cool. I'll show you the cards first. Let me just show you here. So can you see how they're laid out? So we've got the Hermit, the Four of Swords, the Six of Wands, it's like this, this is how it was looking at me, staring up at me from the ground. Mm. I feel like the Divine Masculine's like deflated here, as in he keeps being knocked down, so he's not feeling any recognition reward, any satisfaction. He can't get any satisfaction. I'm not sure, I'm going to have to read into these. I get stuck here. I haven't even channeled this one. I've actually not only channeled really a little bit. If <laughs> you listen to me, it's like, What's going on? Two of Pentacles, Divine Feminine, really choppy in the background here. It's this Queen of Cups coming to the Divine Feminine. So she wants to know. Now the Divine Masculine is single here. So he's missing someone. Who's he missing? I don't think he's missing the ex. I think he's missing the Divine Feminine. And this Feminine now wants to approach the Divine Feminine. This here, I believe, is the Divine Feminine. Hold back. It's either... You or this other feminine that is, are they going to hold back? Are they going to, like, give you a verbal, verbal abuse, really? That's what you're looking at, I think. Verbal abuse. And then you have the death card. So I feel as if hold your tongue back, divine feminine. Uh, you've got the birds here. Well, one bird. Sealed with a loving kiss. So I'm not sure if, um, it was Swark, I don't know why I Swark, but put it on the back of a message, an envelope, sealed with a loving kiss. This may have been a, a message that's been picked up by this feminine, between the masculine and the feminine. And uh, she's, you know, she wants to look into that further, that message. Especially if there was kisses involved. And then we have the death card, which made me feel she was just very, she's just going through her, her transformation. Um, it's like getting a whiff of something. Okay, let's come back up because I'm. Uh, I 
I did say that I had a few things to do today, didn't I? I'm sure I mentioned that. I'm going to need some other tarot cards. <clears throat> we can... No, I'm not sure I want to use a psychic tarot. Okay. I think it's the images on the psychic tarot. I'll be able to tell the story a bit better. Step by step. Ooh, baby. New kids on the block. Has there been a, a move? Um, new kids on the block. Is this about wanting to move away from an area because of, like, the environment, the neighbourhood? Or oh, there's a new baby on the scene. New kid on the block. Come here, Hermit. I said, what are you doing here on my table? the message. I feel a bit shaky. Belly ache's gone a bit though, the pain's in my belly. Turn away from the distractions of the outer world and seek guidance. In silence and solitude discover new depths and refresh your soul at the source of all life. In silence and solitude, discover new depths and refresh your soul at the source of all life. Keywords guidance, retreat, caution, withdrawal and meditation. An inner call. You may be feeling the call to begin meditating or to take a retreat. A teacher, counsellor or wise person or an inner guide. Draw energy and wisdom from the five senses. We don't need to wait for loss to make us turn within. Don't be tempted to make important decisions, for now is a time to withdraw from the distractions of your everyday life. And the next card you have withdrawn, though. Doesn't look like you're sleeping, though. <clears throat> Normally he's laying on his bed, in his bed. And he's like praying, but here you're just contemplating. So you're ready for the next move because, I mean, the sword's on your lap. You're taking a breather. Look at the tree hugging you. I've never noticed that before. It like, you know when you have um, a shoulder to lean on? It's like the tree supporting his arms here. So connecting with nature. Let's have a look at the four swords. Retreat, rest and solace. You may have been through a period of conflict or intense work and now you are seeking solace and respite. Time to focus on spiritual practices that revitalise the soul. You may need to reassess where you stand and organise your future plans. Rest or convalescence, the value of meditation. Well, we're definitely looking at meditation here. I don't know why I said it like that quite, you know. It's just mentioned meditation. 
Go move in. I feel it's breathing work. Okay. Yeah, seeing as the Six of Wands is on his side, and you, all you can see is like the red cloak here. <clears throat> I feel like he, he's trying to um, find his footing. He's trying to find his footing. I could see like kicking and um, trying to find his footing. It's just maybe like kicking back, kicking out. It's very much a backlash here. The Six of Wands on its side. I'm going to read all of it because it does have a reverse meaning. Keywords are journeying, solace and healing. Wrong card. Victory, success, fame and leadership. Let's turn it up this way. Success achieved through being a skilled... Success achieved by being a skilled leader. Praise or rewards received are the result of an ability to inspire others. You may be asked to take on a leadership role or be looking for this in others. Cooperation and harmony within a family. Successful legal or property transactions or promotion at work. It was sideways, so it's not sure. Let's look at it in reverse. You may have lost a leadership role or feel unable to accept such a position due to lack of self-confidence or defeatism. I think that could be about right. It's a lack of confidence here. Arrogance and pride may have disturbed relations at work. Conflict or betrayal in financial dealings or at work. It's not a great situation, it doesn't sound like. Okay, so it's definitely something to do with money and working hard. And someone's behaviour is degrading. Um, so they've kind of pulled a low one on the masculine. I feel it has something to do with finances because he's working hard behind the scenes. So he could be working nice and day for, to actually support a family. I don't feel there is harmony within this family. He's leaving. So the Eight of Pentacles, whether he's leaving or he works at night to be able to provide for the family, he might have a couple of jobs. And um, I'm not sure he's getting the cooperation. And there's a fight here. It could be out while shopping. i tell you what I smelled. I smelled new clothes. You know if you're in like a, or you buy new shoes or um, the smell of new clothes. Like in a, when you're in a clothing store. I was making a coffee and it was like, I can smell like new clothes. And um, I thought to myself, I wonder who's out shopping. I felt like they were treating themselves. So, Eight of Pentacles. Steady progress, training and apprenticeship. So, it could be new jobs, couldn't it? In this day and age... <laughs> I mean, yeah, getting back to work, aren't we? Looking at different options. Maybe having concerns regarding being a provider. So the Eight of Pentacles, steady progress, training and apprenticeship. A time for slow and steady work to fulfill a mission. A time for slow and steady work to fulfill a vision. Might be working more on a mission on just providing money for the family rather than actually working on your vision. Okay, so the money's going on the bills. Well, unless someone's out there shopping and spending that money like on nice things because maybe they might be, you know, they need to cheer themselves up a bit. They need to treat themselves. Sometimes you go, fucking treat yourself. <laughs> for what? <laughs> for your hard work. 
when like you might be quite lazy so okay you go and treat yourself then whilst I go out and work hard for that money that's the energy <laughs> yeah, I, can, I can feel someone just saying you're taking the piss him so I don't think so I'm gonna think about this is enough it could cause an argument like whilst you're out shopping <laughs> Okay, sorry, don't mean to laugh. It's embarrassing. Like, really embarrassing. <clears throat> a time for slow and steady work to fulfil a vision. Focus on one step at a time rather than the final goal. Developing skills, undergoing special training, or working with a sense of quiet satisfaction. Taking pride and pleasure in your abilities. So my masculine could be busy. He might actually really like being out, like, all week. It's the weekend. You spend time at home if you're not working weekends and you have the luxury of that. I think that's cool if you've got a job that doesn't, you know, require that you work weekends. So, um, but that time then is spent most definitely with the family. You do the things, don't you? The weekly shop and the, <sighs> the family walks. Let's have a look at him here, because I do feel he could be working all the hours that God sends uh, to provide for these eight cups here. Or he's leaving, and he's going to the two of cups. Divine Masculine, letting go, seeking a higher purpose, and moving on. A relationship, work project or creative endeavour may have fulfilled its purpose. Visualise the future as you give thanks for the past. Thanks. <laughs> I felt like it's thanks for that. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know, it feels like it's put more pressure on the divine masculine than whatever this person's done. It's like, thanks. He knows he's the one that's going to kind of clear it up. We'll be left to clear it up. A bit like my washing up. That's cool. I said I'll do it. Visualise the future as you give thanks for the past. The goals you've been working towards may no longer satisfy you. You may need to take a holiday to recharge and rededicate yourself to the core purpose of your life. Holiday would be nice, wouldn't it? A break away from it all. Just to find you again. To have some space on your own. To really think... It looks like this might be kind of, you might be achieving this Divine Masculine like on your daily walks. Thank the Lord for those. And they're unlimited now, aren't they? Be gone for a bit longer than an hour if you want to. As long as you don't have a partner that wants to like take every walk with you. <laughs> and you're not allowed to have a walk on your own. You... I would nip out at night to do that. I'd wait till everyone was in bed and I'd go out for my own bloody walk then. Anyway, I would. Once they're asleep, they're not going to know. Just get out then. Two of Pentacles. I've not even used the Psychic Tarot yet. So I felt this was a Divine Feminine. Look, things are really quite choppy in the background here. Happened to that poor boat. Shipwrecked. Stuck. It's 11.44. Let's look at the Two of Pentacles. So I picked up the Divine Feminine. Keep your foot in. The same was um, kind of suggested to the Divine Masculine. Two of Pentacles. Balance, trust and playfulness. A need to seek balance in your life requires trust and playfulness rather than concentration or caution. Material wealth and practical matters, juggling two or more jobs, homes or demanding relationships, juggling a number of factors in your life may be a joy for you rather than a burden. This other person here doesn't find it too great doing the juggling act. They kind of get a, a little bit flustered, just a little bit. And um, so they're not good at keeping their cool during turbulent times, like the ebbs and flows of life. Okay. 
You need to be joy, which is a divine feminine. We're going to find out who this Queen of Cups is here. Who are the queens in here? Loving, maternal and intuitive may signify you, divine feminine. Your mother, a therapist or a woman who inspires love in you and stirs the depths of your emotional nature. The profession of acting or the world of theatre and film. Work in the field of relationship counselling and healing. Take note, Divine Feminine. This one's a bit of an actress. But you have to remember you're like the Divine Mother, so it's going to signify you. You are a therapist, a woman who inspires love in others and stirs the depths of your emotional nature. Just your presence is going to stir up this one here. But it will be projected onto them, your love, and even if they don't accept it at the time, they will walk away at one point and they will digest that. It's like don't give them a reason to hate you. My mum always used to say to me, it's really hard to be nasty to a nice person. Okay, Nine of Cups. Interesting seeing, as it said, their work in the field of relationship counselling and healing. And we've got the Divine Masculine here in his single state. So you might, like, obviously he's still healing from this. And I imagine the healing might have only just started. So I feel that this is, um, with the Divine Feminine being balanced, this healing energy is, is most definitely being transmuted collectively to all. You can't be like biased and say, it's like they say, don't they, the sun doesn't choose who it shines upon, it shines upon us all. So, okay. Nine of Cups, let's check out what the Divine Masculine is doing. Contentment, achievement, realisation of dreams. A time for enjoyment and celebration a rewarding emotional life. Someone may be missing from your life or you may feel strangely lonely. Having been through difficulties in the past, now close relationships are warmth and warmth abound. So having been through difficulties in the past, now close relationships and warmth abound. Inspiration and creativity. Any obstacles will be easily handled and make sure you appreciate your blessings. So if he feels that someone's missing from his life and it's a divine feminine, then this past partner kind of is they're gonna be intrigued to see who it is that their you know ex is actually yearning, craving for. Inquisitive nature. That's expected, isn't it guys? Okay, so it's like don't jump to conclusions like I kind of went, oh, is there like a thriller? Maybe not. But this person might more than likely is going to be inquisitive about you when they find out about you. So the Divine Masculine could be on the cusp of actually blurting it out. Princess of Swords, so hold your tongue Divine Feminine. It's kind of like don't always think the worst. Otherwise you'll attract that, yes. says I. <laughs> Who tells the story? Well, let's just go to the princess, okay? Inquisitive, objective and aloof may represent you, someone you know or with whom you are communicating. Someone with good communication skills and verbal diplomacy who enjoys intellectual challenges and team sports. Good conversation, a new impulse to learn and grow, a fresh viewpoint. <laughs> if there is any conflict that comes, just don't, don't play that game. Tip for tap. They soon find they're just arguing with themselves, aren't they? 
So it's definitely someone who likes to talk the talk. The divine feminine wants good conversation, not negative conversation. Good conversation, a new impulse to learn and grow, and a fresh viewpoint. It's no fun, is it? Arguing with yourself. Death. Although that's what most of us do. We're just arguing. Actually, if you think about when we kind of blurt all the shit out and aggression comes out, we're just like angry at us. So I kind of have a look at it like that. If you're aggressive, it's like have a listen to what they're saying because really they're just talking about... They might be saying it's you, but turn that around. It's them they're actually talking about. It's just a frustration of with themselves that's projecting out. So, did we read her? We did. We're on to the death card. Um, at the back. Oh, thank you. Opened up straight to it. The message, the old and unnecessary wants to die. So have a listen to what's being complained about. And especially if it's being projected towards you, that's just like, that's not my fear, that's yours. So the old and unnecessary wants to die. What passion? The new prepares to open like a rosebud at the dawn of a new day. <clears throat> Keywords, clearing away the old to make way for the new. Precursor to transformation. Intense passion and initiation. So I feel like this lady here, I call her a lady. She's a lady in making, isn't she? <laughs> she'll realise, because if she's come across a divine feminine, she'll be, her soul will be inspired. That's why she'll resonate. That's why it's hard to be nice to uh, hard to be nasty to a nice person because we're all nice people. So you resonate with that. Makes you feel like you've come home. Okay. Initiation and transformation. The core structure of initiation involves an experience of death followed by an experience of rebirth. You may be at just such a moment of initiation. We often have to die to our old ways of thinking, feeling or behaving before we can open up to a new life. Divine Masculine looks like he's opened up to the new life. This one will do. But there's definitely, this whole kind of scenario will have such a knock-on effect um, a year, two years later. So it's kind of like this would be the best thing that happens for this other feminine here um, to come into contact with the Divine Feminine. Okay. Because she's going to want to be like you. Because she's going to resonate. She knows that that does reside within her. So she's going to want to tap into that. Whoop, where are you going? The Divine Masculine's Fulfillment of Wishes. Hmm. It's the Nine of Cups again. I feel like there's a bit of guilt here from the Divine Masculine. Like that he's kind of further on. Even though if this other feminine does her work, okay, the same will... And hopefully she'll follow the, um, the example of the Divine Masculine. Um, sometimes you don't follow someone's example until you're not with them anymore. Um, and you find that you actually adopt them. It's, it's normally quite likely that one partner will overshadow the other. Um, so there's someone in the background, but there's, that person in the background normally has been obs observing and they know exactly what to do and how to behave. They've just been watching. But it's kind of like a jealousy thing. And it's not actually until like the more diviner, awoken partner kind of steps out the way, you allow that other partner to step up into their own right. It's kind of like they can't do it. It's, it's a mismatch. It's like one will always be the leader and there'll be this power kind of struggle uh, where one will be more likeable than the other. That's not the divine feminine, divine masculine. That's normally with a kind of a karmic relationship. Um, to teach us lessons, really, it's just kind of like you stop yourself from being a star, like famous or successful because... 
you kind of see that you're kind of carrying everyone else. And that's tiring. It's like a, they, they will, well hopefully they will adopt um, what they've been kind of, they haven't been lazy, have they? They were observing it all. They take it all in, they hear it all. And then when they're not with you, they put it into practice. Is it fake? No. They're just becoming awake. It's good. Hope. Yeah, that's the kind of energy. As in, like, you hold hope for them that they do, but you can't be in charge of someone else's um, thoughts, actions. You can't control them on their behaviour. Then we've got the truth and we've got rest and rejuvenate. We're going to get one more. Power. Taking back your power, divine masculine, yeah. So it's definitely, it's, yeah, it's a tough one, isn't it? To leave it all kind of, leave what you've been building and you put so much effort into. You kind of say it has to go now. You can't carry it, it's too draining. It will really drain the soul out of you. Um... And then you'll kind of give up. So we've got fulfillment of wishes with hope, with the truth. So it's like, can he have all his wishes fulfilled? It all being honest and in, in integrity. Like no lies anymore. This is a whole kind of complete turnaround of a person's, because I'm picking up the meditating. So I feel like one partner, the Divine Masculine, is kind of calm, um, likes to be quiet, like to have space to be left alone. It's beneficial. If he gets that time, he functions better. And I feel like you have a feminine who is the complete opposite, and she likes to kind of start trouble, um, gossip, and I feel it's just too toxic for the Divine Masculine to be around. He knows he's holding himself back. For one, the partner that you choose, because it is a choice, um, to co-create and share your life with, they are a representation of your choices. So, when you have a look at your partner, are you embarrassed of them? Do you find their behaviour disgusting? Degrading. You'd rather not go out with them. Why are you with them then? Why are you with someone you're embarrassed to be with? We'll read them, of course. Fulfillment of wishes. This card being one, if not the most positive, of the minor arcana cards represents emotional satisfaction, contentment and enjoyment. Your wishes are coming true. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay, <laughs> for the glamorous life. I'm not going to sing that today. Happiness, success, good health, completion and accomplishment of your dreams and goals are in the palm of your hand. Wow, they are in the palm of your hand. And look at this figure in the palm of the, the hands here. This card acts as a reminder to hold on to the beneficial feelings from accepting and receiving what you've asked or strived for. Know that these will assist you in the future when you may need inspiration and positive energy. This is the right time to heal those past memories that have been holding you hostage. Forgive others and yourself so that your wishes, desires and goals have a clear, unobstructed path to your heart, soul and life. Hope. This is a card that focuses on the qualities of hope, faith, healing aspiration, success and finally enlightenment. 
When this card appears, know that a special wish you've made may be fulfilled in time. The Hope card will help show you that the impossible can indeed become the possible. The force that works through your soul, determining what's possible and the difference between success over failure and above all who we are, is the power of your belief. This card serves as a reminder to use your natural ability of intuition, the language of the soul, as you reach for your goals and desires. The future can be yours when you have hope and trust in everything you do. Soon others will be attracted and drawn to your inner light. Learn to share your experiences and lessons, for those around you will also realise that by having faith and pushing forward, where one may have felt no hope at all, is the key to success. Above all, maintaining a positive attitude starting right now. This very minute will allow your soul to soar. You'll discover an opportunity to shine as you reach for the stars. Reach up for the stars. It's here. The guidance, really. It's the truth. Um, it's the truth of the situation and the divine masculine it's like you can't it's like this ex-partner she needs to have hope she needs to be positive like you can't do that for her but you can sure be an example and when she sees what you reap oh what did my co-star say today and um, when she sees what you reap from taking on this calm meditative meditative state okay of being more quiet, it will have a knock-on effect. But the enlightenment come at the end, didn't it? Of, of all of it, it kind of, um, it said you need hope, faith, and finally, enlightenment. What was I looking for? Co-star. Trying to work out how it comes up. Your day at a glance. Remember, you reap what you sow. That's what it says. That was one hour ago. Your day at a glance. Remember, you reap. What happens to my phone? You reap what you sow. The truth. Let's read the truth card. So this... Is normally, sorry, that's the Nine of Cups. We've had him on the table already, at the table. The Hope card is a Star card. A Major Arcana. And the Truth. Judgment. The qualities of this card illustrate spiritual awakening, clarity and... The qualities of this card illustrate spiritual awakening, clarity the revelation of truth and cosmic consciousness. At times it takes a wake-up call to get your attention and show how far you need to go. This card comes forth to do just that. Evaluation of the past along with the lessons that you've learned or still need to understand must now be a top priority. Doing so will enable you to forgive, accept and heal so that you can move forward in a balanced spiritual mindset. The truth card reminds you that a significant change must be made in a certain area of your life. But don't make any hasty decisions. Take your time for any choices or alterations must be weighed. <coughs> so sorry. <coughs> Little block just come up then it's like okay we're gonna carry on. We've got a fly in the room. The truth card reminds you that a significant change must be made in a certain area of your life. But don't make any hasty decisions. Take your time for any choices or alterations must be weighed and evaluated with, with the most careful and wisest of judgments. Whatever steps you take now will have far-reaching consequences more than you'll ever know. Using the powers of the universe and blending them with a little help from the physical world, will assist you in bringing about clarity and a shift of awareness. 
What was once not obvious will now be realised and understood. Be honest with yourself and trust what you know to be true. So we're resting. We're going with him. It's a big decision. It's a life-altering decision to um, walk away. Rest and rejuvenate, but why? There's a deeper meaning and lesson that um, the Divine Feminine and the Divine Masculine, if they can't comprehend that now, you will realise it's lesson later on. So it's like part of the, the process. It will have a knock-on effect. A positive one. So let's look at the Four of Swords. This card implies that a period of rest, meditation, rejuvenation and recuperation is in order. It usually comes forward when you're encountering or coming out of a particular emotional or mentally taxing experience. The number four in numerology means foundation. So this is a time to heal, to be with your soul and to continue moving steadily forward. Allowing space just for your reflection is both needed and long overdue. Reposing and taking moments for yourself will give you the opportunity to look at a problem or situation instead of being in it. It's a chance to stand back, view your life with clarity and renewed appreciation and see where changes can be made to create a healthier and stronger foundation enabling you to take your next step. So that's quite interesting because I'm actually going to be focusing on the um, the chakras, okay? Um, kind of like ASAP. So it's a good kind of guidance for me to kind of work on that root chakra this week with you guys. So that's what we're focused on because there's a lot of red coming out, foundations, um, a root chakra. So we're going to focus on that for this upcoming week, especially as we've got the... Um, the five of pentacles here, pentacles being really that uh, the suit here that uses the red. Red, root chakra, power, taking back your power, okay. So that's clarified that for me. <laughs> As a spiritual being, you have unlimited power at your command. This card represents inner strength, willpower, courage, compassion, generosity and love. At any moment, these beautiful qualities can assist you in coping with an adverse condition in front of you or the many surrounding your life. Set aside the necessary time to resolve such issues. Power represents more than physical, external strength. It can also be channeled emotionally, mentally and spiritually. When you have balance over body, mind and soul, and with the power of spirit, anything can be overcome to achieve a possible, a positive result. Power and strength can be developed to work in harmony in any given situation. Every obstacle, every error, helps build your knowledge and understanding of the world around you. When you make a mistake, it's a chance for you to stop, listen and ask yourself, what am I supposed to be learning here and how can I make this situation better? Mistakes are great wake-up calls in that they provide you with opportunities to discover your weaknesses, what needs to be changed and which areas of your life need improving. Equally, they can be blessings in disguise. Just remember, you are power. So you're definitely going through this. Divine Masculine. Oh, don't you think that's amazing? I'm going to work on the chakras. And there they all are. All the colours. Five of Pentacles.
The number five physical card represents changes, challenges and losses usually related to material or financial concerns. You may be losing some of the things around you, but you must acknowledge and know that besides existing as a physical being, you're an incredible and resourceful spiritual entity. Use your powerful forces within to help you through this difficult period. Everything changes for a reason and this time isn't meant to be a punishment. Know that your current conditions will transform for the better. A positive question to ask yourself now is, what did I learn from this and how can I avoid it in the future? Remember that there are lessons to be understood in everything. It's up to you. <clears throat> it's up to you and you alone to decide how long it will take for you to learn them. Guys, get your um, Chakra Alignment reading booked in. It's $40. I'll put the details in the description box. Um, it's a very in-detailed reading um, that looks at all of your chakras and see you know, your alignment, how balanced you really are. Okay, so email me. Get that booked in. And it's kind of... It keeps coming up as well for me to keep recommending this, okay? We're definitely working on the chakras as a collective. So get your reading booked in and uh, get yourself aligned. I've been on for ages. A lot of reading again. Oh, 56 minutes. That's not bad. Okay, so let's um, use these other cards. I'm just going to stop for a breather. <laughs> Looks like it's a lovely day out there. It's quite quiet, isn't it? Just a nice little candle burning over there. The crystals twinkling in my eyes. Daily guidance from your angels on this Sunday. Look out for Pick a Pile, guys. Not sure what it's about yet. But um, you can choose yourself a pile, um, or two, or three. Some people don't just want to choose the one pile. It doesn't matter to me if you have one pile or, or three. All three. Um, most do just choose one. Sometimes two. But... Um, for a donation to the channel. So on Pick a Pile, all details will be on that video. Just look out for it. I'll get it done. We've got a shower of abundance coming in here. Oh, we like a bit of that. To heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow. It's definitely a block here, the finances, because we're looking at money in the physical, like our material stuff, losing it, and feeling like that's the end of the world. Shower of abundance. Okay, let's... Uh, it's because my mind's saying to me, and this isn't just for the Divine Masculine, this is for all. Let go of the, um, the need to be able to control the need to be, yeah, to be able to control the, the flow of money. Allow it just to flow how it wants to. We're still not there. Release and surrender. Reward yourself. So again, don't let this, like, if, if you're mixed up with a partner who's a little bit, you know, <laughs> uh, they just like to spend money, don't worry about it. Just let them spend it, okay? It, it's keeping the flow going, isn't it? And um, you don't have any concerns about that. Just think, well, if they're spending it in that hand, from that hand, and giving it to another hand, you're going to get it back in another way. So don't worry about that money. Thank them for keeping the flow of money going around. It's the way that you look at it. So um, understand, money wants to flow. You might not want it to flow, Divine Masculine, because you've been working hard for it. You might not be like who's... You might not like how it's being spent and who's spending it, but that person's guided to spend their money that way. 
it must all be in order, okay? So just don't worry. It will come back to you once you let go of the uh, wanting to control those pennies. Um, shower of Abundance. Can we actually get to this? See only love. Shower of Abundance. This card is a sign that your prayers about finances have been heard and answered. The more you can listen, the more you can listen to and follow your gut feelings right now, the quicker you'll experience improvements in your financial situation. Additional meanings for this card. The coins that you are finding lately are loving signs from your angels and departed loved ones. An unexpected financial windfall is coming to you. Give any fi financial fears to your angels. Follow any guidance you receive as it could be an answer prayer about your finances. Abundance can take many forms, including having more time, opportunity, opportunities or clear ideas. Let's look at your affirmator. Ultimate potential. Take that time. That, that's the most valuable thing that, you, um, that will make you a fortune. Is you. Your ultimate potential lies within. I choose to live a life of my fullest potential. I trust that this will draw me towards experiences and people that support my growth and accomplishment. Tuning into this frequency... I now reach higher heights than I ever thought possible. Knowing that's an option, why would I have ever tuned into anything else? I'm looking at you, Smooth Jazz and Talk Radio. Maybe you want your own radio show. Go for it. Just be you. Go for it. Okay. Go for it. Well, you've got this. Let's have a look what you've got this wants to say. What else am I pulling? I'm staying away from the Lover's Oracle. And the Rembrandt's Angels. Let's end on a Verne. You've got this. Time you enjoy wasting is not wasted time. Get your head around that one. So time you enjoy wasting is not wasting time. It's not wasted time. No. It's like if you're the role model, the leader, and you normally know if you are within a connection, um, if you're the one who's kind of got it all together, um, they've been watching you. They weren't wasting time. <laughs> it's all been a very important role that we've all been playing here. So um, let's get one more. Actually, I can. We can all do exactly what we choose to do. We just choose not to, and normally that's for the benefit of someone else. So actually I can. And don't let the fear of losing outweigh the excitement of winning. Oh yes, it's coming. Shower of abundance. Don't be scared of it though. There is no traffic jam on the extra mile. You can get yourself in a bit of a jam, but once you're out of it, some people just seem to go the extra mile all the time and don't see kind of any reward from it. Oh, it's all been accounted for. It's, it's all been logged. But are you in the right environment to receive that divine abundance or are you around people that would quite happily spend it for you and control how that's spent? And them ideas might not have anything to do with you fulfilling your mission. Fulfilling your vision. You have to get yourself out of the jam first. Let's do a roomie. Here's the bike. You need to get on your bike. Go and find Daisy. Daisy's her, she's joy. From the chakra cards. Her name's Dancing Daisy. That's joy. It's like, Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer to me. On that bike. A bicycle made for two. I think there was a good lesson in that. For all of us.
A new gown. Be nice. A ball gown would be nice. Okay, guys, you can get yourself like a tux or a suit. <laughs> For the ladies, a new gown. So I've been picking up. I've picked up on this gown here. Actually looks like he's got his gown here. He's off. Look, he's in his gown here. Bit dark. This other feminine, she does have a gown, but it does again look quite dark. And the divine feminine is quite colourful, look. And it's all a bit green here, I think, with envy. And then you have the blue here, which makes me feel about, you know, actually be wise about your communication, how you communicate, how you project yourself. So we've got the new gown. Balanced in all of those beautiful colours there. Card number 18. <laughs> I felt like saying to you, like you're an adult, you're 18. You're an adult now. <laughs> you're 18, you're an adult now, are you? Adult? Uh, yeah, well. Yeah. In my eyes, I don't think wait till you're 21, but that's something that it's kind of like you're 18, you can really take care of yourself now. So, <laughs> how old are you? 43. <laughs> okay. Weary and consumed by longing, I was caressed by my beloved last night. My wounded soul was set free when I tasted the sweetness of love. My spirit was lifted at once. I surrendered my life while overflowing with joy, and my vision was filled with light. Love said, don't feel so hopeless, my weary and gloomy one, for my generosity is beyond forgetting those devoted to me. See how boundless divine justice can be. Behold my immeas immeasurable kindness. Love embraced my spirit, and all my doubts vanished at once. A new and glorious robe of honour was placed on my shoulders. Love offered me the power of new vision and the transforming touch of divine generosity and placed the chalice of eternal wine in my hand. Ruming. Love embraced my spirit and all my doubts vanished at once. A new and glorious robe of honour was placed on my shoulders. I have the perfect gift for you. It is a gown of new colours, of colours perfectly suited to you and no other. The colours of this gown will make your eyes sparkle and gleam as though they were more beautiful than the most precious of gems. The colours of this new gown will make your skin seem luminous as if lit from within. For of course it is, beautiful angel, your complexion is radiant with the light of life. Your hair will shine with lustre and your entire being will be complemented by this gown as it enhances your beauty in all ways. So hold on no longer to that shabby, tattered cloak so unworthy of you. Cast it off. Let me grace your shoulders now with this royal robe instead that you may shine beautifully as befits a royal child of divine parentage. Might be the smell I was smelling. I was picking up a stench of your new robe coming. Death has it over their arm. <laughs> Our beloved, if you could only see the incredible gift, the symbolic robe being offered to you now, your fears would quake and tremble, disappearing more quickly than you could imagine. Your heart would take wings and become so light, your entire being would lift clean off the ground and soar like an angel bird amongst the playground of the Divine Mother's sky. skies. Yet like a, like a young one, so much younger than your years and wisdom warrant, you may hold on to your tattered robes as though they were a security blanket. Though you know it is time to let it go, you may take pause and have a moment of doubt. You may wonder if the new robes will descend swiftly enough 
or that without what you have known to cling on to, you will be left stark, naked, exposed and vulnerable. These thoughts are not worthy of your status, but perhaps you are yet to realise you are of the most sublime, royal lineage, that you are worthy of a cloak of galaxies, a crown of stars, a body of sacred earth and a voice of stirring music. You may be craning your neck to see who is it, who it is. You may be craning your neck to see who it is. Well, it does say that, but it makes it feel like I'm saying something different. You may be craning your neck to see who it is that can bestow permission upon you to receive a gift of such dignity, in whom is such authority vested that you may no longer be as the beggar, asking for scraps and contenting yourself with stale crumbs. You may simply decide to shed that, stand up to walk with your head held erect and with regal grace and assume your place at the table of divine feasting. Remember that your royal birth certificate is stamped in your heart. There is no authority required, no permission to be granted. You are what you are already and always have been thus. All that is required from you is to realise it. Why have we gone dark in here? We've gone a bit blue. <laughs> this oracle comes to you with sacred portent. You are fast approaching a moment of a great leap an evolutionary shift on your spiritual path. Your sense of yourself and your divine identity is about to be revealed and realised in a way more potent than ever before. This is wonderful. It is a divine happening and you must allow it. Do not confuse humility with humiliation. Do not humble yourself excessively. You do not have to battle with false pride either. Simply honour yourself as a living being, worthy of life, worthy of this royal path of divine realisation. What a gift it is to cast aside belief in inferior, inferiority or superiority, unhelpful as those notions are for you now. What a gift instead to embrace your own path, irrespective of what any other may think whether they hold it in glory or division. Who cares? Not you, not I. Your royal heritage has been revealed and in seeing the divinity within yourself, you become blessed to see it in all beings, all beings returning to the realisation of royalty within. Craze searching outside of the heart will come to an end. A simple golden path will be found, as though a river of molten gold flows from your heart back to the oceanic heart of the Great Beloved, where, united again, you finally ascend your throne and claim your divinity once and for always. I'm not going to turn the light on, but it has gone kind of... But it, I don't know if I come close. <laughs> and sometimes... It, oh, that's... Did that work a bit? I just waved my card in front of you. Listen, it's to adjust the camera. Okay. <laughs> or there's a meaning behind everything. Let's not go there. Let's finish this off. This oracle comes with sacred guidance for you. You are stepping into empowerment in a new way and it is to be honoured. Do not allow yourself to be dragged into dramas or power games. You are worth so much more than that. You are tapping into your inner dignity and others may not know how to respond. Some will respond with love and acknowledgement others with fear and judgment, calling you too big for your boots or high and mighty. Those are voices of fear, not truth. <clears throat> Be in your dignity and power and keep going. It is the divine that urges you thus, not the ego. Do not doubt the changes happening within you now. Embrace them. Wow. That reading managed to bring itself together perfectly, but um, we're going to end on a postcard from Spirit. It made a mesh. Uh, it made a. It made a mesh. Did it make a mess? A little bit. We're going to whistle while we work. We'll put the tunes on, and we we'll just spend an hour. Just an hour, and see what you can get done in an hour.
a lot, a lot more than what probably you planned. So. <laughs> Oh, we might have two messages. He doesn't want to go away. Oh, three. That's a lot. Okay. Um, there you pick a poles. I'll put them over here. There you pick a poles. You're going to have a message from spirits. And then you're going to choose the, oh, it's like pink, blue, and yellow. Pick piles. You can play along before then. I haven't recorded them. I've not even pulled any cards. I've not even looked at what they are. But that's what's coming up. What colour do you want? Is that yellow or is that a peach? Orange. Orange. Pink. Violet. Blue. Green. <laughs> blue. I'm going to go orange, blue, pink. <sighs> if I remember that. So that's how we're ending. Guys, pick a poll. We'll be coming, I imagine, soon. We're going to go and have an hour. That's what we're doing. Yes, that's why. Pick a poll's next. And um, book in your chocolate alignment reading. And the other readings, most of those are going to be change, changing guys um at the end of the month where we'd stay the 17th so get those booked in at those prices and also those spreads because i'm going to be working on some different stuff i think that's it have yourself a fantastic sunday and i'll catch up with you guys soon okay take care an hour and 17 minutes oh it's all good take care much love bye for now